changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one, show some love, hold each other. Welcome to the Princess Pata Fabio Show. On this show, we change minds and change attitudes on how you perceive things in life generally. In life, we have so many questions but fewer answers on certain, certain issues that we are facing. And that's why I'm here, to give you the kind of answers that you may be looking for for the questions that you have. I am your friend, I am your sister, I am your coach. I'm here to make your day a blissful one. Welcome. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching The Princess Pata Pata Show. Whatever you do, make sure that you don't get buried during this COVID-19 and the post-pandemic era. Stay afloat. Change your minds and change your attitudes. Give us this day our daily bread. It didn't say give us tomorrow our daily bread. Matter of fact, what it says is worry not about tomorrow for tomorrow will take care of itself. Sufficient for its own trouble is tomorrow. So whatever you are doing today, be contented with today. Think about today. How do I survive today? When you get to tomorrow, tomorrow will definitely take care of itself. You have to learn financial survival. You have to learn ways to survive during this time. And what kind of business to invest your money in. And when you know this truth, that it's just for your daily bread, you will definitely come out of depression. I want to assure you that it is going to be all right. That no matter what you are facing right now, it is just a matter of time. Give it time. Remember, time and chance happens to everyone. And there will come a time too, where you will come out of this pandemic depression, economic depression. Now, let me give you another uh, a way here or some other way that you can actually manage your finances. Have you thought about curtailing wasting food? What do I mean by wasting food? Sometimes we give our children food and they might not even be able to finish that meal. And we're trying to force them to eat it and then they don't eat it. It's wasted. Not so many of us have pet animals that we can give these leftovers to, to eat. So if you can just measure up the food and you know what your, your son or your daughter or your household could consume, you could just cook that quantity for them and then you share it for them to eat, not to overload the food so that at the end of the day, you don't end up wasting food. Have you thought about food rationing? Like intermittent fasting, all right? Just eat the important meal of the day, which is breakfast, of course. You don't have to, but... We're just talking about financial survival here so that that can save you some money as well. For instance, substitute goods. Cranberry juice, for instance, I'll pick on that because I love juice. Now, if you cannot afford cranberry juice at this time, you're stretching it. Why don't you look at a substitute juice or soda? Go for Coke, Fanta, Sprite, whichever one suits your test boards that you can actually consume in place of um, cranberry juice. What about water? You thought about drinking water? At this time, water is very good for your system. It cleanses out your system as well. What about um, eating out? A lot of people like to eat out, especially during the weekend. You know, the order out, take away. Have you thought about grocery shopping and cooking at home? So you can save some kind of money. Because I believe that when you shop for yourself and your family and you cook at home, instead of ordering out, you save yourself some little money. It may not be the big, huge kind of money, but I'm sure those little change could come in handy at some point in time. What about a garden in the backyard? You ever thought about having a little garden in your backyard where you cultivate something that you usually would buy from the grocery store or the open market, like pepper, onions, okra? scent leaf, cucumber, especially locally right now, we have a lot of cucumbers and it's just it's everywhere. Those kind, of, those kind of vegetables, 
It's all about ugu leaf. What about planting ugu leaf in your farm? So that when you need it, instead of going to buy it from the market, you could get it from your garden. We're talking about surviving here, right? So a little bit of agriculture here as you serve money wouldn't also hurt your household and even if you're living alone. What about uh, if you are the kind of person that like the expensive kind of fish, like salmon, but you can't afford it at this time because of what's going on with our economy. Have you thought about catfish? You thought about mackerel? Have you thought about eating any kind of other fish that is just not salmon at this time? Because at the end of the day, we're looking for ways that we could save money. Because right now, I'm telling you, it is not as easy as it used to be. Number three point was financial survival, ways to survive. Now let's talk about social survival. Number four, ways to deal with the pandemic and post pandemic. Social survival. What is social survival? How you relate with people. How you relate with people. Social survival. You're the kind of person that every point in time, you like to party. It's my birthday. We're going to celebrate. It's my son's birthday. We have to celebrate. Oh, my daughter, she just graduated. We have to make it happen. Oh, let's go out and make it. The, have the whole big jamboree. Oh, I'm bae. Can you cut down on those as well? And just maybe celebrate just your household and a few neighbors or a few friends instead of doing the big old thing. Yes, I, I know here, especially in Nigeria, we like to have the big weddings, the big traditional marriage. Can we make that sizable a little bit so that we can have money left over? Social survival, how you're relating with people. It doesn't mean that you are cutting off from people. It's just that you're cutting off from how much of those parties that you're having. Because, hey, when you have a party, you have to buy drinks, you have to buy food, you have to bring a DJ, people have to be there, you have to roast suya, you have to roast fish, people have to come and eat. I mean, especially in our African culture, that's what happens here. Of course, if you're living in the Western world, you have to barbecue, you have to do the grill, you have to do the hot dog, you have to do everything and bring it out in the sodas and all that stuff. Can you just make it sizable? Just a little bit, just reduce it a little bit. Social survival, you have to learn that trick as well. Now. What type of investment can you possibly go into at this time? What type of investment can you possibly go into at this time? I'm thinking about it. The first thing that will hit me will be real estate. And you're going to ask me, okay, why would she say real estate? Well, look at it from this perspective. It's actually cheaper right now and more affordable to go into real estate. Now, where the economy is going through depression, a lot of things with incentive. There will be so much incentive that is being given right now. It is cheaper for the buyer and also for the seller. See, the sellers, the, 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 those who are selling, the builders and those who are selling have to sell so that they don't have backlog on their loans. Think about it. Real estate, all right? I mean, I believe real estate is going to thrive during this um, season. Have you thought about online education? Schools are out. Thought about giving lessons online to parents and, and children who are at home at this time where they don't have school and you could actually help them with their lessons and their schoolwork and kind of like keep their brain alert, yeah? I think that's one of the online, online lesson teaching, um, online education at this point in time. What about selling goods online? What goods? Are you selling right now? Can you take those goods to e-commerce? Can you take it online? I suggest you do that because that's another way for people to actually buy from you because right now everybody is moving to online. Trust me. So can you sell your goods online? So online goods selling. What about home delivery of food items? You take a list from somebody, you go do the shopping and you deliver it to their doorstep. That's another way to do it. Providing home care services for elders especially now they are so vulnerable to a lot of things. You could actually go into that kind of business and also help them right there. What about beauty products? Organic hair products? You could actually create your own. Honestly, you can. All you have to do is just do a little bit of research and learn it. You could actually come out with it and see how it works with yourself. Use yourself as the experiment. It's all, you know, object, the mannequin. 
and see how it works. And you can take it online. Or matter of fact, you can even start selling it to jo just your friends right away, okay? And then you're going to be making money from those kind of products, organic hair products, beauty products. You can, I see people doing it, and I'm sure you too can also do it as well. What about online games? Teach people how to play games online. I see people doing it. I'm sure you also can also learn how to do that, especially with kids who like to play and live the make-believe kind of life and just enjoy themselves and come out of the boredom because oh, I have kids and I know how much uh, we have to talk about being bored, all right? And I'm sure that they, they're just all over the web right now playing video games and all kinds of games on YouTube, okay? Software developing at this time. Use your creativity, develop something, develop a software. Don't just sit down and say, okay, well, um, I don't have a job. I I'm sure this is time for you to come out from where you were not having enough to having enough. What about selling your product on social media? Like Facebook, like Twitter, like Instagram, like YouTube. Have you thought about it? Selling your product, I'm sure you can actually make it happen for yourself. What about Google, of course? What about food services? Cook, cook, cook the food that people ordinarily would not cook and eat at home. See, when we've said all these things, the main thing here is staying afloat. You have to stay afloat. With all of this being said, ways to survive, the kind of things that you should invest on at this crucial time that we live in is it all boils down to staying afloat now after all is said and done no matter what you decide to do with yourself no matter what you decide to do with your business i want you to realize one thing that two-thirds of the world population is living below par and the population of the people that are actually rich is very infinitesimal infinitesimal very small so I'm actually appealing to that two-third population in the world that we have to survive you have to survive you cannot kill yourself because of this pandemic we are going to come out of this pandemic whatever you do do not allow it to bury you now remember, in order for us to solve our problem, we must start with the low-hanging fruit before stretching higher. We must start from the low-hanging fruit before stretching higher. What do I mean by that? Before we can see the bigger picture of our businesses making the big money and it happening for us during this pandemic and post-pandemic, let us start small and begin to grow. And remember that the amount of people that we see rich in this world is small compared to those who are poor. Now, after all is said and done, this is where I have to draw the curtains with you today. Listen, you have to stay positive. You have to stay afloat. You have to stay encouraged. You have to survive. You have to have financial stability by re-strategizing your business. You have to learn social survival. You have to learn that in this world, you have yourself and those people that love you. And I want you to know that God loves you too. And he will definitely make sure you get what is definitely coming to you. Now, now, when all is done, you will be remembered by what? you have done and how you allowed this time to affect your life. Remember depression is real, but you don't have to be depressed. You can just live your life one day at a time. Remember, you owe yourself the right to love yourself. You owe yourself the right to sit back and re-strategize, to sit back and think how you can make it better. Before I go, click on that subscribe button and click on that bell to get notified when I put in new content. And that is Changing Minds, Changing Attitudes. I am Princess Pat Akpavio. See you some other time. Do take care of yourself. Bye for now. Peace. Things are never what they seem to be. Changing Minds, Changing Attitudes. 
ourselves to live a prison war Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a prison war Show some love, hold each other's hands In confidence we'll make the world a better place Just part of the show.